Usually, before I go shaking my tits for the press, I like to go see how the professionals do it. Some might say the chief of police has no business in an institution like this. But in fact, it's the quietest and safest place in town. You won't run into any reporters, nobody gets into any fights, nobody drinks too much, nobody even raises their voice. The place is owned by an elderly gentleman who knows how to keep things under control. That's why I never invite my friends here. I wanted to make an exception for my 60th birthday, but most of my colleagues are young enough to be my sons, and they'd rather just hire prostitutes. Why stare at some boobs when you can take the whole package for yourself? But there's none of that in our club. Even looking too long is considered indecent. You can get an occasional glimpse, like by accident. The rest of the time you just pretend that you're immersed in conversation, or just come by for a drink. Doesn't mean these gentlemen wouldn't want their bald heads smothered in tits. It's just that nobody says it out loud. My younger colleagues might call it hypocrisy, but I call it the good old-fashioned manners. Good manners and leave the rest unsaid. She agrees to unbutton her blouse, and we agree not to pay too much attention. The girls are on a quiet prowl, too. They're looking for a way out of their cramped rooms. Maybe make friends with some wealthy patron with a pacemaker and dentures. Everybody wants something. But we have to control ourselves, or we'll all turn into libertines and prostitutes. Hell, if there weren't any rules, I'd be belching and farting, jumping up on the table, arms held high, yelling, Shake it, baby! <laughs> No idea how I got so barbaric. Welcome ladies and gentlemen, I'm Mebo and you're watching the Mebo Gaming. Um, you probably guessed it already, I'm playing This is the Police, which is a sort of action adventure and resource management game um, basically it's an interactive story action adventure um, or just adventure no action maybe and uh, resource management basically the resources are your cops uh, and I've recently seen this on Steam it's been out for a while but what grabbed my attention was the voice that we've just heard oh my god I wish my voice would sound like this, which it doesn't, okay? I can try as hard as I want, I could try adjust it with a sound editor. No, it's not going to happen. But hey, um, yes, it says continue here because I fired it up to see how the recording is, but let's just go ahead and start a new game. Yes, please. Do you want to continue? Thank you. Day one. 15th of July, Monday. So, Mayor Rogers, Sex Maniac. Weird. City Hall confirms rumors of Jack Boyd's resignation and Mark Ward 2 to be shown in Freeburg the day before the worldwide premiere by Mayor's personal request. Let's just go to work. Come on, baby. Start up. There you go. When I was a kid, my father sometimes told me at bedtime that if I closed my eyes and didn't open them for a long time, all the demons would blow away. Yesterday I turned 60, but I still take his advice. Not because I'm sentimental or want to keep the memory of my father alive. I just can't think of a better solution. To get away from all the demons that haunt Freeburg, I'd need to wear a blindfold 24-7. Plus, it's a good idea to act blind when talking to reporters. At least that's what my colleagues say. They're afraid of press conferences. But for me, it's more like a confessional. No matter what lies you tell, you're privately thinking the honest answers. It helps me remember who I am. 
The fact that I'll be reading all about it in the papers tomorrow is a small price to pay. Call it penance for the preacher. This is the first time I'm afraid of those answers my mind has given me. Not because I'm mad I'm losing my job. Though it's true, I'm mad as hell. Not because I subconsciously blame everyone else. Though I damn sure do blame them. And don't even ask me what my next move is. I can't imagine. But even that doesn't scare me. The worst thing is, I know I'm gonna have to do something. And I'll be damned if I know how far I'll go. I may have a lot of vices, but predictability isn't one of them. <laughs> I learned a long time ago how to drive away the swarming demons. But what do you do when they're trying to rip your soul from your skin? Shutting my eyes tight as I can. The best solution remains the same. Play blind. I just hope the reporters think I was blinded by the camera flash. Good morning. Is that where we jump in now? Yesterday the mayor's office officially announced your resignation. Did this come as a surprise or did you know about it in advance? Um, the mayor is supposedly a sex maniac, so I don't know what my relationship is with the mayor just now. Um, Yeah, I've been expecting this bullshit from the mayor. Mayor Rogers is a dishonorable, corrupt politician, and he's been waiting for an opportunity to get rid of me. Liking this answer. And again, I'm, I'm, I'm not sure what their relationship is. Do you already know the name of your successor? No, I think it's a new man. I think uh, it'll be a department veteran. Who cares? Now... We did mention that I'm 60 years old, so I've been in the job for a long time, and I think it's time for fresh wind. Now, I'm not sure if my choices here have an actual impact on the game. So, fresh wind in the department, maybe. I think they'll bring in some new blood, a fresh mind, not wind in this case, like I said. Okay, disagree with me if you want to. A fresh mind to take a fresh look at the problem. Cool. After the recent corruption scandal, your deputy Francis Kendrick said he was looking forward to resigning. If the mayor offered him your position, would that change his mind? Well, if Francis was looking forward to resigning, probably not. He's made up his mind to leave. I don't see anything affecting that decision. It's pretty much saying what I'm saying here. So, yeah, cool. Happy. Um, although Kendrick was quitted, many still believe that the police are cooperating with the Mafia. That's not good. Do you have anything to say about this? Bullshit? I don't know. If it helps police? Surely working with the Mafia doesn't help the police. It's more helping the Mafia. No comment. Um, I call bullshit on that one. Excuse me, but well, that's a pile of, pile of horse shit. The Mafia and the police working together? Maybe they're in the cahoots with the aliens. The Mafia are a bunch of low-life criminals. How about someone ask a real question? You tell them, man. You tell them. Do you think your personal relationship with the mayor could be the reason behind your retirement? Now that ties in with the first question, right? So... I think he is a fishy person in that case. Definitely. Of course it's the reason. Personal relations are always important, no matter what anyone says. True. Thank you. I don't know how that has any How's impact. The today, Mr. Boyd? Same Hi, Emma. as usual. How did the press conference go? You can read about it in the newspapers tomorrow. Don't let anyone in. Even Mr. Kendrick? 
especially Mr. Kendrick. Yeah, Emma. Don't let anyone in. We want our peace. Probably pour down some whiskey or... With that voice, definitely. Whiskey, cigars. Oh, pills. Oh, for his back, probably. Oh, I was right with a cigar. <sighs> as soon as I heard the door creak, I knew what face I'd see. When I tell Emma not to let anyone in, there's only one man it could be. Rude, arrogant, no warning. That's Mayor Rogers in a nutshell. I really don't like white the mayor. summer shoes, white socks, white shorts, white polo shirt, Ew. and the white smile of a hungry shark. Mayor Rogers Ew. enters every room like he owns the place. Even the floorboards under his feet sound like they're creaking an apology. <laughs> he never shied away from the odd corruption scheme. It's like the devil walks behind him. In the movies, the villains controlling the city play golf with the judges. Rogers plays tennis with them instead. That's about the only difference. Jack, I was hoping to catch you after the press conference. You, uh, you ran away so quick. Jack. There's no smoking at City Hall. No reason for me to hang around. Well... This morning, I signed a ban on smoking in all public buildings. Soon, you won't be able to smoke here, either. <laughs> Soon enough, I won't be here at all. That's what I wanted to talk to you about. The people of this city like you, Jack. The police chief, of all people. <laughs> don't, uh... Why is don't it so funny? that, Jack. I'm a very likable person. Any schemes. Sit nice and quiet for the next 180 days, and uh, and you'll be remembered as a hero. That's the only thing that you still have left. Be the hero. Then how am I supposed to scrape together a retirement fund? You had a million chances to secure a luxury pension, one that even I would have envied, although I've never set aside any money for myself. I'm not planning to retire anytime soon. One hundred and eighty days of quiet. That's your Jack. city. That's all I need. Why I won't do that have any for? problems with you? And you won't no, have any no, problems no. with me. I have a new assistant, Troy Starr. If you have something to tell me, call him. But try not to bother him. He's a he's a busy man. <laughs> I'll do my best. I'll do my best. God, I love Quit his voice. Quit smoking up the office. One of my friends will be using it soon. Weirdo. Oh. Hello. Oh, I'm sorry, babe. Only the mayor has this number. Mr. Mayor. Yeah, is this Troy Star? Yes. Go fuck yourself, Troy Star. <laughs> Great. Day two, July the sixteenth. Uh, next police chief, poli poli police chief could be one of Boyd's subordinates. Civil servants' wages won't be raised this year. Unacceptable. Cleanness. Cleanliness of city streets increased by 20%. Isn't it, isn't it cleanliness? Now, I'm a foreigner. English is not my first language. Isn't it cleanliness? 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 Never mind. It's written, so it must be true. Go to work. Oh, come on. I need a new car. There we go. <laughs> Cops don't use the police station cafeteria anymore. There's some kind of stigma against sitting shoulder to shoulder with your partners. Everybody just takes snacks from the machines or grabs a meal and hammers it down in the corner like a vulture on a corpse. The main thing? Don't look into anyone's eyes. Could be construed as an invitation to sit together. The only people eating here are ghosts.
my deputy, Francis There's Kendrick. A ghost. He recently became one of those ghosts. The subject of one of the most devastating corruption scandals in the history of Freeburg. No evidence to support the accusations, but everyone knows Kendrick's days are numbered. I need that file I asked for. Needs to be ready tonight. Francis didn't say anything, but I understood. Ghosts aren't supposed to talk. Besides, I got a feeling he was already finished. Right. Tutorial. Would you like to receive tips about how the game works? Yes, please. Um, show me what you've got. I'm a 60-year-old police chief. A few months away from retirement. I don't... Yes, please. I want to know what's going on. Shifts. Freeburg PD organizes upcoming work assignments into shifts for today and tomorrow. Every shift, officers respond to crimes in progress and detectives continue their investigations. You can freely move employees between shifts. Proceed. Uh, characteristics. All officers and detectives possess several important characteristics. Professionalism shows the overall efficiency level of your policeman. A figure around 150 is considered average. Any policeman who falls short of this mark is not entirely reliable. While those whose professionalism is considerably higher than average are a safe bet, even in a pinch. An individual's level of professionalism may rise and fall over the course of their career. Energy shows how tired your policemen are. The less energy your people have, the less reliable they work. And policemen who is exhausted, and a policeman who is exhausted, might fall asleep at the wheel or make a quick critical error on the job. Please don't fall asleep on this behind the steering wheel. Please don't. It's a lot of explaining I have to do then afterwards. Um, your employees lose one point of energy after each working day and restore one point after each day of rest. Okay, so in this case, is that the... Yeah, that's highlighted, so... You're somewhat average, you're old. Um, hidden characteristics. Your employees don't tell you everything. Some additional characteristics are hidden from view. For instance, some cops are lazy. Get off your ass if you're lazy. And will come up with any reason they can think of to take the day off. I know a few people like that. Uh, while others like to drink too much. No, can't say I know anyone like that. Um, so, hidden curry is that... I don't think that bottle, then, is uh, to see during the game, unless I find out. Uh, drink too much. You can only guess about these things, but you should be able to draw your own conclusions based on the behavior of your employees. Cool. So, shift B. How would I move? It did say I can shuffle people between shifts. There's only one shift. Maybe it's still part of the tutorial. We'll see. So, Kochi, 250. It did say 150 is considered average. So, Kochi, good one. Yancey, good. Purdy, 210, good. Tsubaki, oh, you're below average. And then, okay, so it's... What? Five? Price, what are you doing here? You should... You should be at home. Retired. Mo, the Brito, Armstrong. Right. Oh, I, these are my policemen. These are the detectives. I assume. Different color. And all of a sudden it starts again at 150. So now, um, can't really do a lot. Can I do something here? No. Let's start the day. Lovely music. Calls. Responding to calls is the bread and butter of police work. Sorry. Um, you will need to send your officers to the crime scene before the, t the timer expires. A mark on the map shows where the call came from. The farther away the destination is from the police station, the longer it will take your officers to travel back and forth. So the longer your people will be tied up and unavailable uh, available for upcoming work. 
makes sense, right? Okay, every day mall, a hit and run. Okay, uh, called slots. The easiest way to determine how difficult a task might be is to check how many units you're allowed to send on the call. The more units you can send, the more serious the alleged threat. Particularly risky missions give you the option of sending SWATs. I've got a SWAT team down there! Awesome! But they must be accompanied by at least one officer. Okay, I want to send the SWAT team out now. Mm. Right, uh, descriptions. The number of slots is not the only thing to consider. Any valuable information from the location of the crime scene to the presence of weapons and so on. All of this can tell you how seriously each case should be taken. A mission might look simple at first glance until it turns into a brutal meat grinder. Or a serious call can come in which turns out to be false alarm. Right, description, hit and run. Uh, a married couple ex exited a convenience store and saw a van in the parking lot back over a homeless man who'd been digging through a thr thrash can. Trash can. The driver jumped out to help, but once he saw that he'd hit the bum, he got back in the van and quickly drove away. Asshole. Okay, um... I don't know, that doesn't sound too severe to me. So, two officers. The rest is locked. Shh. I don't know how safe I need to play this now. It's a hit and run, alright, so let's go with someone. Oh god. Purdy. You're good. I still don't know what I'm doing really, what effect it has, and let's get rid. Shall we get rid of the first one? Price? You suck. Will there be difficult jobs later on? It's the tutorial, I don't. Part of me does. Let's do it. Let's do it. Woo! 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 There we go. So, police station is around here. Um, oh, no, the timer is running down. Crime in progress. Fight. The last picture show, theater. A theater manager reports that during a show of Citizen Kane, a drunk man attempted to force his way into the theater carrying a snowboard decorated with the word Rosebud. Why would you go into his theater with a snowboard? When he was denied entry, he violently attacked the cashier and is currently fighting with the theater's security guard. Yep, that sounds more severe to me, so we got rid of Price. I think we made the right choice there. Again, two people. Um, but yeah, more severe. Um, you look grumpy. Yeah, you look grumpy. You can do this. Austin. Let's go. Woo, woo. Loving the music. Bit too cheerful, maybe, for police work. Oh, stop dancing. I, I can't cause that with my dance. So, hit and run. Reports. Um, outcomes. When everything goes well, the police capture the criminals and nobody dies. Uh, I hope no one dies on my watch. But the truth is, sometimes the criminals manage to escape. Just try to avoid any dead cops or civilians. I'll do my best. Uh, dead cops will hurt your roster, and dead citizens bother the mayor even more than the living ones. Now, I'm not really fond of the mayor, so I don't really care about his opinion, but no, we don't want dead citizens, do we? No, 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 no. Okay. Oh, offender escaped. Uh, I bet it's Price's fault. So even with a hit and run, Price can't deal with it. That's good to know. We're learning. Officers unharmed. Alright, cool. But the bum. The bum is harmed. Fight. Report. Alright. Um, oh. Offender court. Officers unarmed. Civilians unarmed. Brilliant. And they just leveled up. Was it 10 for each? 
think it was 10. Please correct me if I'm wrong. Nah, you don't have to. It was 10. I'm fairly sure. Cool. Well done, guys. Not like price. Um, armed robbery. Ooh. Oh. Is that now paused? Okay, armed robbery. Um. There's another thing. If that's pausing, maybe I can have a look at the other one before I decide. Suburb. Three teenagers armed with a shotgun robbed the videotape store. Videotape store? What year are we in? And made off with their whole collection of adult movies. Oh, God. I don't know what to say. Um, I don't know what's worrying me or me more that teenagers have a shotgun or that they just robbed pornographic videos no idea um the criminals fled in a car but the store manager wrote down the car's license plate the owner is one janet brown who lives in the suburbs okay let's quickly have a look at this one fights uh, Johnson, Jürgen, and Katz Law Firm. A brother and sister clashed with each other over the deceased father's will. According to one of their lawyers, lawyers, we don't dare separate them. And our security guard is off duty tonight. Right. Um, I've got cops returning, don't I? Are they back yet? Yes, they are. So, that doesn't sound too severe. Come on, come on, come on. All back. Come on, thank you. Um, for the armed robbery, I want these two. And you, really, you disappointed me. So, I want to play it safe this time. There's a fight. I've seen myself that fights can escalate fairly easy. Shall we risk it? So... For the fight, we're using these two, and for the armed robbery, we will use Kochi and Yancey. Yeah, let's do this. Purdy and Austin, you go for that. And then uh, armed robbery, Kochi and Yancey. Woo, 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 woo! Capture, oh, capture those criminals for me. Um, assault in the ghetto. A passerby saw some teenagers attack an elderly musician then run away with his guitar and his money. Now, Price, you just you just sit there, have a cup of tea. Tsubaki and Asano can handle this. I really hope there's no other assignment coming in. Please. Price, you just relax. We've got this. Oh, okay, it just got... Oh, oh. Direct orders. When your cops aren't sure how to proceed, they might contact you and ask you to handle the situation. Try to deal with whatever comes up, but don't waste all your time on this stuff. You have plenty of other problems on your plate. Oh, so the time... No, the time is not running out. So it's fine. I've got plenty of time. The vehicle in question is parked right outside the Brown residence. The sounds of moaning and loud laughter can be heard through the living room window. I get the moaning after you... Stole all those videotapes. Laughter? Maybe. Uh, knock on the door. Open up! Police! Sneak into the house through an open window. Turn on the siren and loudspeaker and shout that the house is surrounded. Now, they have a shotgun. Um, I don't really want to stand in front of a door when they have a shotgun. Neither do I want to surprise them and they... But it's only two guys. I'm not really surrounding the house, am I? But that sounds like the best solution. Yes! Well done. Well done, Kochi. Well done, Yancey. Drinks are on me tonight. Don't you worry. I've got it. Oh, fight report. Um, oh. Yes. Yes. Purdy and Austin, well done. You get a round of drinks as well. Assault. Come on, come on. Oh. Tsubaki Asano, really? Maybe I should really pair a really good one and okay cops together. 
That's fine. We're learning. We're learning. Hopefully we're learning. Now, nothing. I only got the prize. Please. No, no. Oh, end the day. They said, yeah. Let's get these guys back. I don't know if that has makes any difference onto the game. Right. Over time. If you think you'll need a couple of extra hands tomorrow, you can order any cup to come in and work over time. But if they're working flat out, they'll be much more exhausted. Some but he's bound to make a mistake. All right. So, let's you. Oh, shift A now. Okay. Oh, so you're at home. I think. Oh, come on. Really? What's with these guys here? Um. Oh. Really? So, 85 is what I'm really not happy with. Can I? No. Order to work tomorrow. Okay. Let's do it. So, you're working tomorrow. Okay. That's fine. Tsubaki. Yeah, end of the day. Come on. Let's do it. Whew. Used to be, when I asked Kendrick to stay late at the office, he liked to grumble and crack wise. Nowadays, he doesn't have the strength for it. Slumped shoulders, blank stare, wrinkled skin. The past few weeks, I don't hardly recognize my old friend. In his younger years, he reminded me of a gallant royal officer in an old Kipling story. Kendrick isn't just crumbling under the weight of the public pressure, but from the shame of it all. Internal Affairs raided the library he inherited from his grandfather, hoping they'd find buckets of cash stashed in the pages. Heard about the look on his face, the fearless policeman standing helpless in horror. I've known Francis for 30 years. The past 20 years he's played loose with the law. And I know that at a certain point every stolen dollar brings more misery than anything else. Probably sounds crazy, but I sympathize with the guy. What can I do? Your friends are your friends, and these are the waters we swim in. Called all of the people on that list today. Now they know you're in business. So you could get a call from any of them. You don't need to worry about any of them. I've cleared them all. And what kind of business are we talking here? It's nothing too serious, just like you asked. Should be just a few small favors. Payments will vary depending on the situation and who you're dealing with. How much are you looking to earn? Half a million. Half a million? Why not a whole million? Because everybody wants to take a million. Figured I'd try something different. Half a million in 180 days? Well, you could earn it all above board if you netted all the big fish and hit all your bonuses. Never knew you for a fisherman. Well, you never got into my business, and I'm not trying to get into yours. But be careful about bringing in any other cops. Sooner or later, they'll put the finger on you. And, and one more thing, Jack. I remember what you said, but I should probably add one more name to that list. Christopher Sand. Sand. Christopher G. Sand. Everyone knows the name, but few could tell you who he is. The old man stays away from the spotlight. Always wears old-fashioned jeans and knitted sweaters. Gives to charity. Rarely attends social events. An avid hunter, I hear. Even dabbles in poetry. You'd never guess he's the head of the oldest and most powerful gang in the city. Goes back as far as his great-grandfather. And Sand is strict about following the old rules. He rarely involves himself in commonplace murders and robberies. Hardly needs to intimidate anyone to get his point across. The people who work for him each have their sphere. They provide protection where needed, even work with the authorities when they want to make a deal. Meanwhile, San pulls the strings without getting his hands dirty. People sometimes mistake his quiet approach. 
A couple years ago, an arms dealer decided to expand its business without asking permission, and his whole family paid the price. In four weeks, Sand killed 31 people, old men, women, even a few teenagers. And Sand's people made sure every paper reported it. Frank, I don't want to hear you say that name again. Jack, please, listen to me. I'm in with these guys. We agreed, Frank. That's not the kind of business I'm into. I don't go there. Never have, never will. Hmm. Kendrick is very corrupt by the sounds of it. Right, one more day. Uh, Francis Kendrick announces retirement day. Construction of Cinema Museum postponed again. And legendary singer Gennaro Crespo comes to Freebird. Well, I'm li really looking forward to the singer Gennaro Crespo, aren't you? Right, go to work. We can do better this time. Uh, we can start the car this time a little bit sooner, please, can we? Go on. Right, asking for a day off. When a police officer is too tired to be effective, he will ask you for a day off. Lazy. Sometimes officers will request days off when they're at full strength. Some of the reasons you'll hear are <laughs> far-fetched, while some are very serious. Don't overindulge your subordinates, but don't antagonize them either. Remember that everybody's got secrets, and you've got to make sure these guys have your back. Okay. I've got to be a people person sometimes. Uh, promotions. In addition to their performance ratings, police officers also possess rank. Uh, that's, yeah, that's this thing. Um, employees begin at the lowest rank and can be elevated in rank with one, two, or three stripes. Once a week, you can pass out stripes and improve the rank of any employee. If you think that no one is worthy of the honor some week, you can postpone the ceremony until later. Insignias won't go out until your people are ready. Alright, oh. Okay. Uh, employees of rank not only increase in professionalism, but also learn to command. Whenever a ranking officer is on the scene, his or her colleagues are more likely to perform better than usual. Sometimes when cops get rank, Sometimes when cops get, gets rank, they start thinking more seriously about their service. This can mean less drinking and more time spent on the job. Some of them might even turn out to be dependable. Oh, okay. Right, so you came from Shift Beat, Subaki. Oh, strike, what, what? Can I? Okay. Yeah, let's do this. You, you. I want to keep you happy. I'll keep one other stripe. Roy is just like price on the other shift, right? Mm. Four hundred. Something big is going to happen on the shift, right? All right, let's start the day. Let's do this. Music turned on. Freeburg isn't one of those cities where you listen to what they say or nothing at all. You can always select any song from your collection and play it at any time. Just like in real life. Well, the life of your grandfather. Now, I don't own a turntable. I did when I was younger. So, what's, what we got? It doesn't really... Uh, some classic Chopin. I don't know what these are. Probably jazz, blues. Let's just go with the first one. Uh, Sweet Ginger Green, Pierce, Pickering, Ragtime, Flood, yeah, 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 let's, oh, no, let's do it. Oh, I don't get to choose again, okay. Once I choose, I'm stuck with it for the day. Ba -ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba Uh, hiring and firing. Let's learn how to hire and fire cops. Okay, cheerful music to hire and fire. Affairs. Police station. Labor management. Hiring. You have a certain number of paid job openings for which you can hire any available applicant. Job slots are separated between officers and detectives. Um, 
Alright, you really want me to hire right now. He's a 60. I, I want the 470. Um, right, I used someone from the other shift. So this is shift A right now, so hire for shift B. That's no. Want to free up a slot? Time to fire somebody. Um, no, I don't want to... F yeah, let's fire boy. That's, no, I don't need a five on my squad. I could have picked someone else to hire. If you have legal grounds for the termination, no one will ask any questions. You might need to fire them anyway. Leg legality be damned. But that could land you in additional proceedings. And your other staff will become more worried about keeping their jobs than they are about actually doing their jobs. Another way to free up a slot is to have a police officer killed. Well, that's not really a valid option, right? Um, yeah, fire legally. No, uh, fire legally. It's fine. Birch will not like this. Not at all. Well, they look roughly the same age. Right, where do I close the. Oh, songs. No, close. Right. What's this now? Alright, let's let's hire you for shift A. I just sacked someone. Cool, are you already there then? No, you're not. Vandalism, St. John's Cathedral. We re received a frightened call from the local cathedral. cathedral. This morning, the abbot discovered that someone entered the old cemetery during the night. The old yard's tombstones are painted with satanic symbols and some have been broken into pieces. It seems that there are even marks from a shovel, but the abbot would say no more. Right, this just looks like someone playing tricks. Not necessary. Nice. Right, let's try this. The two of you. Let's go. Um, again, vandalism. Atticus Tower. Businessman Harley Jones, looking out his window, saw two teenagers scratching offensive slogans on his new car. Right. Um, Tsubaki, something easy. I know you're tired. And Samadhi. Go on. I'm using pretty good cops or average cops on vandalism. I'm not too sure if that's the right choice. We'll see. Maybe it's a vandalism day today. I don't know. What happened to my music? Oh. Suspicious individual. Eddie's Burgers. A waitress named Myla reports that she just served a chicken Eddie and a Diet Coke to a dangerous criminal who she'd seen on television just this morning. The culprit is sitting at the window eating a burger. Hmm, do I want to take any chances? No, I don't. If he's really a dangerous criminal, go on. And don't you die on me. Uh, reports. Fender's game, office I'm harmed. Meh. Really? Alright, come back. Uh, come on. Thank you. There you go. Thank you, Tsubaki. Thank you, Samadhi. So now, Tsubaki, you're, you're getting tired, right? Come on. Have a coffee. You can hire someone else. A detective, I think. Suspicious individual. The waitress had mistaken retired officer Frank Nero for the fugitive in question. Great! At least we played it safe, right? So, King Louis nightclub. Um, it's a nightclub. Are you gonna come back on time? Yes, you are. Right, come on, come on, come on. There we go. 
Uh, Sam Sorkin, King Louis Nightclub. Oh, that's something entirely different. Well, Mr. Boyd, my bouncer, stuffed himself with Mexican food again. And now he can't get off the can. Meantime, the line outside the club is stretching round the block. We need someone outside who can tell the cool guys from the punks. Hmm. But basically, I'm doing someone a favour here. I don't want to send my best. No, I don't want to send my best officer. Tsubaki. Come on, you're cool. Lady Bouncer. We can do it. I don't see why not. Drug sales. Ooh, Christopher G. Sands Ice Arena. And an anonymous call just came in. A clown carrying balloons at the skating ring is selling crack to teenagers. Oof. No, no, no. That needs to be dealt with. Not on my watch. No crack for anyone. Not even for those pesky teenagers. Uh, suicide threat. A naked man carrying a canister of gasoline has threatened to set himself on fire unless his favourite chewing gum becomes popular again. Really? Um... Uh, yeah. I'll keep Samadhi. I'm really not too sure what the best choice would have been now. Right. Um, sorry, Chief. But I... But I quit. In one night I pulled in more cash than I earned in a month working at this dump. Oh no. Oh no. Mr. Sorkin said he wouldn't mind taking me on. I guess I just wasn't cut out to be a cop. We've just lost Tsubaki. Oh no. Okay, we made some cash. Oh, right. Affairs. No? Hello? Drug sales. As police arrive, a clown is seen making balloon animals for the kids. Cover up in a raincoat. I'm going to be an illicit customer. Carefully watch the clown from the stands. Take the clown onto the ice and round up any witnesses. Let's watch. Yes. Fantastic. Well done. Keep the crack. Hmm? Don't 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 lock it up in the evidence locker. No, I'm joking. I'm joking. Um, suicide threat. Ugh. Okay. Right, I've lost to Bucky. Really? Why would you want to become a bouncer? How many days does she have left then? I can't click on her. Order to work tomorrow. Oh yeah, I need to manage my next shift. Um, okay. Okay, okay, okay. No worries. Oh, she is coming back tomorrow. Alright. I think she is. Come on. I don't know if Tsubaki is actually turning up, so I'll call you. At the end of the day. Checkpoint. Yay! Oh, man. I didn't know by doing someone a favor I could lose cops. Oh, well. Never mind. You live and you learn. We learn from our mistakes, hopefully. I'll leave this episode at that. I'm really enjoying this. Um, I know it's not as active, but the whole story, the interacting, and those potential crimes are quite interesting. I'm enjoying this so far. So, yeah. Um, if you enjoyed this episode, hit that like button, leave me a comment, and make sure to subscribe to my channel so you won't miss the next episode of uh, This is the Police. Until the next time, take care.